Hey future innovators, did you know that the first video game was created in 1958 by a physicist from Connecticut named Dr. William Higginbotham? Dr. Higginbotham used tools and pipes from a radar system to simulate a tennis game that we now know as Pong. Since that simulation, video games have advanced well beyond Pong. People now make careers out of programming video games, but you don't have to be a physicist to create one. Now let's go take a look at one of the most successful software companies to see how the whole process is done. We are at the home of where video games are made, the Microsoft headquarters here in Redmond, Washington. Today, we talk to a top developer behind some of those games. Hi there, I am here with Lisa Sturm. She is a computer software developer. So please tell me exactly what your title is and what it entails. So I'm a software developer. I work on video games. Um, and so basically what I do is I write code so that I can speak to the computer and get the computer to do what I want, basically. Okay, so what is code? Coding is pretty much just another language like French or Spanish, except this is a language that the computer can interpret. Um, so I guess just like how you'd want to talk to someone in another language, you need to learn the language of the computers to get it to sort of listen to you and do what you need it to do. Okay, so you actually, you develop video games. Explain where do you even begin when you're developing code for a video game? Uh, making a video game is a pretty tough process. Um, it pretty much begins with design. Designers come up with an idea um, and then they start kind of fleshing out the design to figure out maybe what characters they want in the game, maybe what battles or uh, however they want this game to work. And then they work with artists to create this art for the game. Um, and they'll create, you know, everything from how one character in the game works, how, you know, like the grass in the world works. Um, and then, then they're ready to bring it to a software developer like me and the developer combines both the design and the art and will talk to the computer to you know, bring this to life. So then what's your role specifically? So I am a software developer on the gameplay team. So I get to work on all the fun stuff in the game as I like to call it. Um, so I'll work on some of the characters or animals in video games or um, maybe I'll work on um, how the world looks. Pretty much anything that you as a player interacts with is what the gameplay team works on and that's what I work on. So how many different kinds of code are there? There are tons of different programming languages. Um, for example, if you want to work on a web page, you'll want to use HTML or CSS. Um, but if you want to work on a video game, you'll want to use an entirely different language like uh, C++. So how does one go about learning code to make a video game? So if your school offers classes, I definitely recommend taking classes at your school. But if those aren't available to you, there's tons of free resources online. And one of the best ways to start learning coding is to start learning the basic logic, which is available through block coding. Go through the day in the life of Lisa Sturm. I spend most of my day um, at my desk coding on whatever the latest project it is that I'm working on. Um, but most of my day is probably spent writing up code, figuring out it doesn't work, trying again, and repeating over and over again. So how many times would you say that you find it doesn't work? Um, it definitely doesn't work more than it does work. I think there's a saying among most computer programmers, which is that if it worked right the first time, you probably didn't find the bug yet. So what general advice can you give to somebody who's interested in getting into coding? For the most part, I recommend being uh, okay with failure because it happens a lot. And sometimes problems take multiple days to solve and you'll be frustrated and banging your head against the wall but when you solve it, it'll feel really good. And it's perfectly normal that some problems take many days to solve. So you just have to be a very determined and sounds like patient person. Yes. If you want to be a coder. Yes. After talking to you, I feel like I can make my own video game. Thanks for having me.